Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over the spline up component, which pretty much just shows off the execution abilities that you have in ACF. So for example, by default, it plays this execution animation whenever the enemy you're facing is below a certain threshold. But let's go ahead and just see how the camera component works. So I'm going to go to my character and in the viewport, you're going to see that on the components tab, there is a CCM look at point and a CCM camera spline. So in order to just change how this looks, let's start, let's first start off with the CCM camera spline and pretty much it's going to call a sequence name and the sequence name is called exec, which stands for execution. And it's and when, in the sequence settings, we're going to be able to determine the camera speed, rotation speed, camera FOV, look at point and so on, time dilation, just a bunch of settings here. But you're going to notice that this just looks like a purple line and you want a way to customize this. So in order to customize it up here, there's a selected points that you can customize. So for example, if I just wanted to uh, change how the spline is, I can just go over here and just, I guess, turn it to however you really want. And then I can just select another spline and let's say I'm just going to make this look really messy. So I'm just going to hold alt and drag out with my mouse to select the third one and alt again, drag out a fourth one. And then let's say I just want to make it look really, really weird and drag it out and go straight up, for example. So I think my camera speed is going to look a bit insane and kind of just constantly look at my character but no matter where this spline goes it's going to be looking at our at our ccm look at point and we set it here so for the ccm look at point it's just going to be targeting a scene component or in this case a ccm look at point which is a custom blueprint made in acf and if you click edit blueprint and head over to the ccm look at point you'll see that this is just a custom blueprint that is a scene component so back on my character the look at point is set to point name is player and it's actually set right here in front of the player, as you can tell by the gizmo. And for the CCM camera spline, we're going to set that look at point to player. So it's always looking at our player, no matter where it is. So it's going to follow this roller coaster of a spline looking up while always looking at our character. So let me just go ahead and make this even dumber than we need to. And now I'll just hit compile and save. And it's very, very easy and simple to follow, right? Just hold alt, drag out of a spline if you need more points like so. So I'll hit compile and save. And now let's go over the execution. So I set his HP pretty low, so I'm trying not to kill him. So now, now let's see if I can shoot. I accidentally killed him. All right, so now this execution camera will go everywhere. Kind of crazy in this roller coaster action that I created. And he's dead by the time I got back. Don't look at me like that. But if you wanted to just specifically focus on fatalities and executions, kind of like what Mortal Kombat does, you would just go over to your character component and look for your ACF executor class. So over here, there's a section called ACF executor. And over here, we're going to have an executions by direction and moveset action. When we open this up, it's going to be facing each other only. And you can only do this in a certain moveset. So in this case, it's moveset dot single hand sword. And the value of this execution tag will be that exec that we see in our camera, which is going to trigger this crazy spline. You can write is fatal to make sure the character or the enemy dies as soon as it's done. And if you can get interrupted or hit during the animation, you can select this and so on. And now there in the cast settings, there is also a master AMS config. And when you double click this, you'll see this is just for execution. So down here, you can add a data table filled with a montage, warp distance, warp time, and so on. Basically determining the slave animation that's needed for the other character and what they're going to play when they get executed and what you're going to do. So when I double click to open this executor montage, you'll see that it is ACF activate damage notify. And over here again, ACF activate damage notify. And these are what's going to determine that the enemies get damaged and the final one will determine that it's going to get damaged again and then this check mark alone back in your character you'll see that is fatal we'll just kill the character right after you finish this montage so you can really change these to however you want in the way that you would add another animation is just going to you could go to this data table that's already made for you and add another item and you can set its boundaries or set its rules from so for example if you wanted an execution that just plays from behind and I'll set something like a, so you can set it from behind. You can set your warp distance, set your anim montage and set an anim tag. So for example, for the first one, it says animation anims dot execution dot single hand or a single sword. You can really set it to um, whatever you want. You can create a new one. You can use this one and I'll go ahead and delete that. And then back in your character, you would just, you could really just duplicate this spline, for example. So I can hold control D to create another one and call this something like behind execution spline, just as an example. And then you can really just set this spline to however. And when you duplicate it, it'll reset to the default values. 
And if you want, you can just show something like maybe like this, just so it curves from the side of your character to behind the enemy, because it'll start here and end here. And of course, you can adjust the splines however you want using these selected spline points. And then you would change your sequence name to whatever you name it here. So for example, so for example, it has a sequence name Nick. This ha it has a sequence name named exec, kind of like we saw down here in our ACF executor component, which will play this event trigger and play this animation tag by the anims.execution.single sword, kind of like what's determined in our data table over here, anims.execution.single sword. And you just have to make sure that the tags match and your rule sets are correctly set up along with your montage. So this data table of the executor or executor needs to match the tag in your character in the ACF executor component. And you can define which moveset it's allowed in. So for example, if you don't need any moveset, you can just get rid of it or just type in moveset itself. And yeah, you can really play around with this however you want. And of course, if you wanted to add some anim notifies, you can just do so here. So if I want to play some particle effects, say over here, I don't know if I have a blood one. Oh, I do. So I just wanna, not sure why that spark is playing, but okay. So for this trailer, I actually want it to be right where my hand is. So I'm gonna let's do 150, just so it looks like it's it's actually like being caused by my attack. That looks fine too. So I'll just copy paste this and put this. So now when I hit play and try to use my execution animation, and you can really add whatever notifies you want. This includes sounds, effects, uh, whatever will really just make your game come to life. So it's still doing that weird roller coaster animation, and I can see the blood effects coming from. Uh, while I was up there. And yeah, thanks for watching Code is Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.